This is a demo of a current problem with playing back spatial audio or Dolby Atmos music under Apple Music with uh, Mac OS 11.4. You can see under my preferences here that I've got download Dolby Atmos checked and I've also got under playback Dolby Atmos is set to always on. Now I'm going to load up um, an album, let's uh, try this one, and you'll see that the Dolby Atmos badge appears associated with the album, which means that every single track on this album is encoded with Dolby Atmos. Let's uh, start playing it back with the big play button, and you'll see that the Dolby Atmos, or just the Dolby logo, appears in the control bar here to tell me that the current track is playing back with spatial audio or Dolby Atmos. Now I'm going to click directly onto track two, and I'm getting Dolby Atmos for that as well. Let's keep going, track three. And this time, I am not getting the Dolby Atmos version. Let's go to track four. No, this is playing the regular AAC version, not the Dolby Atmos version. Does that mean that there is no Dolby Atmos version? No, it doesn't. If I hit uh, the play button again to start playback again from the beginning, and then use the transport controls to go to track three, then now I'm getting the Dolby Atmos version. And again, skip onto track four, and I've got the Dolby Atmos version. Let's click onto track five, and this is the AAC version. No, lo no lossless, no Atmos. Uh, but if I go back to the beginning, and then skip to track five, now I've got the Dolby Atmos version. Let's just verify that that's not just a problem with this album. Uh, we'll go over to another album. Uh, I need one that I haven't picked up before, just so I haven't got any caching issues. Let's have this uh, Abbey Road. Uh, again, the entire album is Atmos, so let's start off with track one. I'm going to click directly onto it, and because I've clicked directly onto it, there's a good chance that it's going to play the non-Atmos version, as you can see. But if I hit play, then now I've got the Atmos version. Let's go to track two, AAC, play and skip, and the Atmos version. This is uh, clearly an issue that's been overlooked by Apple. Um, let's hope that they get it sorted out soon.